Adios. Winners don't lose. Soup. Bad soup. Oh, what was that? What was that character from? Uh... Hot soup. That was Whoa. his name. From um... Welcome Back. <laughs> from Ender's Game. Hot soup. The kid no, no, don't welcome. Bullying. We're not welcome back from Ender's Game. We're welcome back from. Um... I know that. Never <laughs> stop shooting. I've done a lot of shooting. Yes, I have done a lot of shooting. About 50,000 confirmed kills on uh, Call of Duty. But who's counting? Apparently the computer, because I hope you didn't count that. Well, of course not. That would make me crazy. <laughs> I'm not crazy. You can't tell me I'm crazy. Okay, so last time we left off, we were, we actually... Went down to a planet, found some bad soup, and now we're heading out. Seems to be causing a mutation, and the mutants have escaped the planet on a shuttle, space shuttle. There we go. And that's what I said. He said bad soup. Which it was, <laughs> primordial soup. I'm um, picking up a weak signal on an emergency frequency, Captain. I'm putting it on screen. Again, things are really starting to pick up in the game now. Mayday, mayday! This is the SCS Goliath. Any Confederation ships in range, please respond. SC Goliath, repeat, we're under attack. They came through Shuttle Bay. You see his face? Yeah. Yeah, that was twitching. He's oh, sorry, not sir. doing good. I've lost the transmission. The message was too brief to pin down the exact source, but I've narrowed it to a region of the Thraxus system. Thraxus system. All right. Meanwhile, on the SCS Goliath. And remember, that's where your future wife is. Oh, I'm sure she'll be fine. A future wife, so she'll survive. <laughs> Mind you, that's pretty bad. Yes, it is. She better have locked herself in somewhere, because if I got to convert her back from like that sludge, that's pretty gross. So we're going to lay in a course. For Thraxis. So this one is five three two eight four. Working on it. Five three two eight four. Go. Load. Coordinate set. Anyways, in the last episode I referenced a thing about Rick, Rick and Morty, and they had a whole time ton of space stuff i'd actually if you if you're into funny space stuff i would suggest that show above all else it's crude and it's only meant for adults but it is hilariously funny go quickly <laughs> all right oh man in fact the the thing i was referencing was when they actually uh find this abandoned ship Rick gets on the ship and he's all like, what's the best thing about finding a, a spaceship with a distress signal? Free loot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a terrible lot. That is awesome, though. And I've done the same thing. It's like, ooh, yeah, a distress that's signal. That's true. We're approaching our destination, Captain. Uh, okay. Regular speed. Regular speed. And give me a second. I want to see if I have time to put up the shields. You probably do. No. no oh, go no ahead. No readings for the Goliath, Captain. But I am picking up an escape pod locator beacon on the planet's surface, so they're not seeing the uh, the Goliath. The Goliath. So you might just want to go into orbit before you know you lose that opportunity. Working on it. Standard orbit. Standard orbit I. So who's in the escape pod? Oh, it better be my future wife or else I'm in trouble. So what do you do before you beam down to a planet? <laughs> you press the yellow button. What function may I assist you with, Captain? I have... Scan... For the planet. The atmosphere of this planet is highly toxic to humanoid life forms, Captain. So we should send her down. 
Do you require anything further, Captain Wilco? Uh, recommendation. The most logical course of action is to beam down and investigate the source of the beacon, Captain. I recommend an expeditious survey. However, my calculations indicate that a 67.5% possibility that another ship is within range of the marker beacon. Due to the unusual records, they might be finding themselves in. Might be unwise to attract attention to our presence here. Well, I mean, we are in vacuum, so they'll be able to hear us. One more additional piece of data, sir. The atmosphere of this planetoid is highly toxic to humanoid life forms. You must utilize a breathing apparatus on the surface or perish. Which, if I had just beamed down there, I would have died. Yes, sir. Do you require anything further? No. That is all. Yes, Captain Wilco. So if I hadn't actually told him to make it nicer, would it be uttering death threats at me the whole time? Oh, probably. But I don't think you had a choice. I'm pretty sure Wilco just says, like, no, don't do that, Clippy. Don't, <laughs> don't do that to me. You, you can't treat me like this, man. <laughs> okay, so you need a breathing apparatus. So hit that red button. That'll let you go down into the basement of the ship. Bloop, bloop. And step we don't even know if it makes that sound. It does for me. In my heart, it does. Oh, it's one of those, the heart things. <sighs> <sighs> so I hope we get to use that laser gun soon. So, um... I'm thinking we need to pick up something from there, right? Yeah. You see that thing next to it? The uh, little... Yeah. Go ahead and click that. And then the one to the left of that as well, the little panel to the left of that again. I only have one. I think Wilco's in the way. He's always in the way. All right, now you've got everything that you need for the planet's surface. It would be nice if you could just ask them to beam you to the part of the ship that you uh, that you want to go to. That's an interesting idea. That's I want to put it on. So head on back up. you got to use the control panel. Am I going to be fighting Alien from Aliens? <laughs> no, but that would be phenomenal. That would be incredible. I have a feeling i got to use it. No, i got to use the panel. Isn't that frustrating? Uh, <laughs> How yes. sometimes the rules change. Airlock. Elevator door. There you go. All right. <laughs> you were afraid. You never know, man. You've been out that airlock once before, though. Yes, I have. I actually thought I would have gotten blown out with the space monkeys. <laughs> that would have been great. Yeah, in Sierra, in Sierra games, you die a lot. We're lucky to have not died as much as we have. Uh, to the left, yeah. Well, part of it is that I know what I'm doing. And if I didn't, we would still be, like, at Starcon. <laughs> actually, that's not true. We probably would have gotten further than that. But we would have definitely been stuck on the planet with WD-40, you know? All right. I hope I have enough. And, and why... Oh, they were smart. Something yeah, tells me around. I gotta save, though. Probably a good idea, yeah. Okay. Because you could die here. That is a very real possibility. Uh, and my wife. Pod. Shuff. Escape. That's funny. <laughs> it's spelled the exact same way as escape. <laughs> Hopefully, my spelling okay. isn't that bad. Okay. No, I need. A slimy gastropod. <laughs> Don't be ridiculous. <laughs> well, you never know. If something sticks out like that. You want to head to the left. Uh, I'm trying to. You, you can't get over there from here. You've got to head off screen. Oh, fine. It's it not... was going there at one point. Okay. So there's a, there, there is one thing that you need to keep in mind. Yeah. And that is... Whoa, that sped up a lot. Yeah, suddenly it's doing fine, eh? And that is that you need to use your communicator in order to get back to the ship. That's an important uh, that's an important reality that you need to remember in this situation. 
question. <laughs> it looked really painful. So it's hot. The ship is very, very hot. Um, you don't want to touch it. What is this? I'm not sure, actually. It's full of air. Tanks a lot. <laughs> Laser pointer. This is when we use our laser gun. It's already open. There you go. <laughs> Just don't touch it. Uh-oh. This frock probably belonged to the recent occupant of the escape pod. And it is Wankmeisters. Whoever uses this pod can't be far away. It's a flashing button. I want to press it. I, I think that was uh, the distress beacon. Uh, I turned it off. Well, I'm not going to get anywhere here, so. Well, I didn't really see anywhere else I could go. Try heading to the left there. Here? Yeah! <laughs> what? No way. <laughs> Really? Really, really. Holding onto your pants. Help me, Wilco, I'm slipping. If only you had something for me to grab onto. I don't know whether or not to be insulted or not. Yeah, you can't do anything right now, but you want to be able to wait for, uh... It looks like they're holding, uh... Oh, those pucoid mutants found me. Do something, Wilco. Okay, maybe now you can? Yeah, once your pants are down. Give me your hand or something, and I'll climb over you and pull you up after me. They look like they're holding water guns. Ah, uh, so what do I do? What are you going to hand her? Ah, uh, communicator? No, no, no. She's got it. She's trying to climb up. Booyakasha. It's the only thing I got that you could use to climb up. Yeah. Like, maybe the stick, but even that is, like, iffy, you know? Yeah. All right. She's like stepping on your hand right now. Uh, so can I climb up? That's an interesting idea. What should you be doing right now? What's something you can do while you're waiting for her? Oh, it's where I used to communicate. There you go. Because we know that I'm like clutching on like this. Flo, have Glyphy beam outside of here. It'll take a few moments to recalibrate the beam out coordinates, Captain. Please hang on for a minute. Useless! You're useless! <laughs> That's what I had in mind. <laughs> I love all the bad puns. Oh, shoot. Uh, there's a clearing a few meters from your position. Can you make it there? They can't beam him out from that. From oh, where he is. okay. Do I have any choice? Not really. Eureka out. Will she pick me up or what? Yeah, doesn't it look like those mutants are holding uh, water guns? No! Yes, it does. Hand. Ooh. Well, you just know I'm like two seconds away from getting hit. It does look like they're holding water guns. Come on, just shimmy. <laughs> look he pulls up his pants as he climbed up. Oh yeah, that is a super soaker. Oof. That was lucky. <laughs> I have a feeling we would not have survived that. Maybe not. You know, this game is a lot, a lot more... adventure -y? Yeah, a lot more adventure. Uh, yeah, a lot more action-packed. In the other ones, you had like a few minutes to actually make decisions. Sorry I tried to kick your butt back down the planet, Captain Wilco. I thought you were one of those pukoid mutants. Uh, call me Roger, and don't worry about it. I don't think Sorry. I'm going to make it, Roger. Get One of those back. bastards nicked me with that awful primordial soup. Uh, don't worry, we'll fix you up. There's got to be a cure. I'm afraid not. The only thing you can do is slow down the mutations by putting me into cryogenic suspension. Beatrice, you're asking me to freeze you. We were getting along so well. <laughs> Poor guy. Uh, I must admit, I thought you were real putts back at the academy, Roger. Well, we still are. But you turned out to be an okay guy. 
Maybe even more than that. Aw, she's starting to like him. But we don't have any time for that now. I'm probably not going to make it and the pukoids have, stop, have to be stopped before they trash the entire Star Confederation. Okay, Captain Planet. Oh, how? The Goliath could be parsecs away by now. We'll never catch them before they reach the Starcon. Except for... Quark really hates me. They aren't going to get far without this. It's the Goliath's warp distributor cap. I like how they... B, you're a genius. I like how they use, like, car parts. Yeah. <laughs> Sweet. Oh. I know. Uh, now put me in the cryo chamber quickly. You do have a cryo chamber on your ship, luckily. I have never seen it. What the? Oh, sorry. What the? Who is that, Captain? Ambassador Wankmeister, she escaped from the Goliath. The entire crew has been infected by some strange substance and are turning into hideous pukoid mutants. We've got to get her bef stabilized before she turns into one of uh, turns into one herself. What should we do? I'm an engineer, not a doctor. You better do something quick, though, sir. She's starting to look a little green around the gills. Okay. So you see that red button next to Spike? Um... Yeah, you don't want to go ahead and pop that. And press it. Touch it with your hand. Touch it with your hand. <laughs> you mean we can't lick this one? No, no, no. Oh, that That is something. I wish they had left lick and smell in. At least smell. You but know? you really want to smell the pecoids. Yes. What do they smell like? What if they smelled really nice? Um, okay, I need to know something. Click on it again? Yep. Okay. okay. Oh, maybe look at it. What do you need to know? Well, it's freezing, and stuff could go wrong with freezing. Yep, yep. You want to look at the little control panel to the left there? And you want to... You wanna, <laughs> I cook! <laughs> you want to set it to 10 seconds on cryo freeze. Okay. Is that what that says? Uh, no. I think it's in the manual. Oh, it's another one of the manual things? Yeah. Um, there you go. B has been successfully placed in hibernation. The mutation process has been slowed, but she's not out of the woods yet. All right. I like how her hair fills up the entire capsule. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe if you want to see more. And until we see you next time, to fight these pukoid mutants, be excellent to one another. Yep. Keep your guns in the air. Nice. Have a good one. Beesicle. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> it's going to go B on ice. ice. Maybe a B pop. <laughs> oh, that would have been a good one. <laughs>